Hello everyone, I am Shubham and welcome to Fantasia. In this video, we are going to learn that how to set up a Go language on a Kali box. For installation, some automation tool and that automation tool might be help in bug hunting. First, uh, I am going to download Go language. Sorry. So for that we need to visit this website golang.org and we need to download zip file or we can say a tar file or zip file is the same thing. So after that we need to select the this is for Linux so obviously I am going to download it for Linux click on save and click on ok click on this install instruction and it will show us a different different command that we, we need to use ok so we, we, we are not going to install it we are simply going to extract that uh, zip file or we can say tar file okay to this particular location so let me explain this command like first uh, it's going to remove this uh, go language if it uh, this go language directory from your system it if it is already exist over there and then after that it's uh, simply going to what is simply going to unzip the that particular tar file and going to place in this particular location okay so i'm going to copy this command and we need to run it with the sudo and let's open terminal to downloads Oops, sorry yeah. ls and we have our tar file over here okay so make sure that we need to use sudo over here because i am not a root user and over here also hit enter we need to enter our kali password okay so it's done after that what we need to do we need to add a path so let's copy this particular path and uh, let's go to the home folder let me clear my screen i'm going to add it uh, on my this configuration file which is what zsh.rc if you are using bash a shell then you can add it over here bash sh.rc so in my case i'm using zss shell which is a default shell uh, by default shell in kali for now so we need to add it to this particular file so for that i'm going to use again nano dot zsh rc and need to simply scroll down and i'm going to add it at the end of that file okay i already added let me remove it so i can add it again yeah and if we simply check for the version so it will show us go version which is 1.17.2 perfect okay so now for this demonstration purpose, I'm going to show you two different tools. First is Subfinder, which helps us to gather subdomain, and another one is HTTPX. Okay. So both the tools are written in Go language. Let's search for the install. And here we uh, simple get the command to install this Subfinder. Okay. So 
I'm simply going to run that command. It may take a uh, few minutes, so we need to wait for it. Okay, it's done. Let's uh, go to the HTTPX also and I'm searching C for the install. I'm going to copy this command and run it over here. Okay, so it's done. After that, we know that uh, these particular, uh, the file for this particular, uh, what we can say, programs or tools are located over here. So we need to go to this cd go slash bin, do ls over here and we will get our um, executables over here. Okay, like subfinder, hdpx or we, we can also check for what? uh different different tools like go buster and etc okay which you which is special written in go language but the thing is what like i i saw many people like they are they are uh, simply going to this particular path which is a slash go slash bin and they are running it so every time if they want to run this particular executable they need to go to this particular path which is what a uh, kind of time consuming thing so what we can do, we can first uh, going to locate uh, our go path and we'll simply move this executable to that particular go path. So it will be accessible uh, from anywhere. Okay. So let's do it. So first we need to locate go. Oops, sorry. I think so. We need to run where command my mistake where go so it will give us a particular path okay so let me copy this don't copy this go because it's uh, executable itself so we need to only copy this user which usr local go bin okay so what i am going to do i am going to use sudo move subfinder and okay cool so let's also do it for hdpx move hdpx okay so let's go to the home directory or anywhere else and let's try to run subfinder first with the help command okay so it's working fine right let's try hdpx cool it's also working fine okay so let's use both of this so for that I'm simply going to use this particular command. You can find out this option in the subfinder and HDPAX itself. Okay, so uh, the command is really simple subfinder and hyphen D you need to provide what domain name and it's a silent and after that we use pipeline. So um, it's simply going to provide an input to the another program which is HDPAX and it will print, uh, it will give us what title content length and status code of that particular URL and it will save our result in this h1.txt file okay so let's execute this uh, command okay so you can uh, see over here like for api.hacker1.com so it's a what subdomain and it shows what 200 okay which is status code it also shows the content length and it also shows the title which is hacker1 api okay so if we uh, clear the screen we can also uh, check everything in what h1 text file which we already save our output in that particular file so you can use uh, this or any other tool uh, from anywhere you need to follow um, the previous uh, steps which i follow in this video if you enjoy the video, do like and share it 
with your friends and don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos that's it for this video see you in the next video bye stay safe